Look at that. Look at that. that it's almost like it's 2018. Code, actually. You don't let anybody tell you, Steger, that just because all your games are half naked dudes climbing each other, it doesn't make you a real game developer. <laughs> you, you got it all about firing out. babies out of a cannon. That's a fair point, yeah. We need that it's one not... 1K tournament. Exactly. See if you climb the boys the fastest. He tweeted about, uh, I forgot if I liked it or not, but he tweeted about a game called uh, oh. Puppy Paw Troll. Oh! Yeah, uh, and they, they're they various emergency service members. I Because uh, it's like Paw Patrol. Right, exactly, oh. yeah. It might have been, it might just be Paw Patrol. I don't remember, but it Cobalt, was, is uh, your is your son old enough to watch television yet? Oh, well, I mean, he does. I don't know if he's old enough. Like at what <laughs> age is it? that Papa What's in Your Mouth show. That's a pretty good one. I don't know about that. Isn't that what it's yeah, called? It's, no, nah, it's True in the Magic Kingdom and Word Party. Are Dude, Word jam? Party sounds like right up my alley. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It's about four little animal children that live together, and it's by the Jim Henson people. Oh, they, that's cool. They, they ask the big kids, who are you, for permission for everything, and they what sing do you mean little they're, happy oh, songs. Th they ask the camera, like, can we do big this? Big kids, can we go outside and play today? <laughs> and they sing a little song, please, please, please. Can we go play outside? <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, no matter what you say out loud, they always go and play outside. They think you say yeah. yes. I'll, I'll yell oh, no man. at them all the time. <laughs> man, they should sort that out. That's a pretty nasty vote. Uh, yeah. Kids TV is so bad. Yeah. I mean, like necessary, but also, I yeah. mean, just awful with an adult and critical eye. Yeah. I mean, it, it, at least that one like teaches them stuff. The other one is just like a girl travel around with little magical wishes mm -hmm. solving problems that usually either her or her cat create so mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, and it doesn't really teach it anything it's well, it teaches her responsibility you know doesn't explain <laughs> why the little girl's there living in the rainbow kingdom or how she got there like nothing i was always pissed because dora was like do you want to go to the supermarket or do you want to go in a cave and i was like i want to go in the fucking cave obviously yeah and then they take <laughs> you to the supermarket and they teach you about vegetables i don't give a shit I do have to ask, this is, not, this is not meant as a shot, but didn't Dora the Explorer start airing when you were like 17 years old? <laughs> it's a joke, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, you seem intimately familiar with the context required to make the joke, so I thought it was a question worth asking. I would watch anything, even Dora, over these two shows at this point. It, thousands of times I've seen them. It's made me DVD hate pandas. Set. Let him, let him watch some Dora, dude. Get him some Dora. Dora, like, have we reached Dora? I've tried uh, every yet? show. Like, oh, if yeah. you're, I ask this every September, but like, you're a college freshman, you're watching the show. First off, turn off Twitch, go socialize. <laughs> Secondarily, use your Twitch Prime subscriptions. Tertiarily, <laughs> what are people nostalgic about? Because when I went to, my first year of university was in, uh, the fall of 2006 and everybody was singing i want it that way and uh, it's tearing up my heart by nsync so what right. are people nostalgic about if they're in freshman year of university right now <gasps> still spongebob probably still yeah i feel yeah. like spongebob lasted for 20 years it's a long time yeah spongebob Gangnam style wow actually it makes you less intelligent if you watch it <laughs> wow that is mm -hmm. a shot across the bow for about <laughs> 95% of our target audience. Just saying, I love there was a study done on it, and children who watched SpongeBob ended up being less intelligent. <laughs> really? I, it's, I'll who find it study? eventually. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I heard about it one day, and now I'm telling you without efficient, you know, backup data, but sounds well, good. I watched a lot of SpongeBob, and I'm mm. a certified genius, mm. so obviously that that is totally wrong. Did you guys ever watch Angela Anaconda, or is that a Canadian show? <laughs> I would have watched that. I never heard of it. It yeah. is. It might be the worst that. song, uh, the worst uh, theme song in television history. Like, it's like my name is Angela. Hey, hello, welcome to my very own show. Like the whole point is that she's just a girl with a really whiny voice. Oh, that oh. sounds terrible. That's the whole show. You know what it is? It's like um, haters what about back the nanny? off. The nanny. It's Miranda was about that too. Yeah, I liked like, the nanny when I was a kid, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Yeah, Dude, I think the nanny is still kind of like, okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, Fran Drescher does have an annoying voice, but she's also a timeless beauty, so. Mm -hmm. Just uh, like Oprah Winfrey. I... <laughs> <laughs>
I've uh, <laughs> I've done this bit before, but I don't know I don't know if it's still on the air. Maybe Cobalt, you can you can educate me on this. But there was a show when my little brother was a little kid called Ubi, no and that, part of that all right. It, I, if you if you guys don't remember me talking about this, it is by far the worst children's show that I have ever seen. Have you seen Word Party? It, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Do they speak English on Word Party? Uh, well, one of them just speaks in whining uh, a lot of the time, so but mostly <laughs> okay. English, yeah. So Ubi. Uh, spends time as a hand puppet with googly eyes. Everybody, everybody's a hand puppet with googly eyes, and they speak mm -hmm. gibberish. They're like, oh, 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 maybe oh, I have oh, seen oh, this. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. What the hell is that teaching children? They don't learn how to speak English from this show. It's terrible. Well, maybe it's for like infants. Yeah, you shouldn't baby talk but your you kids. You yeah, you shouldn't speak. baby talk at all. Yeah, you should speak full words and yeah, to let they learn how to talk kids. faster. Oh, it's like uh, Robert De Niro in uh, Meet the Parents, right? Like, you're not supposed to speak to them in a baby mm. voice, and you're not supposed to, you know, ever give them anything when they cry, so that as an adult, they learn to repress all of their yeah, emotions and right. clean their own room. They gonna clean that room. Word Party <laughs> teaches them that it's a game to clean the oh, room. Oh, does it? Okay. <laughs> you ever we worry that, uh, like, the gamification of responsibility is a short-term good that incentivizes people to, you know, make their lives better, but long-term makes them incapable of finding an intrinsic reward for hard work done and instead makes them constantly wonder where the reward is going to be for just handling their own business? Like You're getting money about... for playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> Life's a game. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> and we've all lost. Mm. After listening to that, <laughs> Cobalt's won. Bit. Cobalt yeah. won because he passed on his genes. Uh, that's Hell true, yeah. yeah. Buck up. I got, I got <laughs> a great kid with a little quirky eye, and uh, he rolls around and screams mama. Does he got a quirky eye? Yeah. Does, does he got a quirky eye, though? <laughs> yeah, Look, I watched a lot of Ubi when I was a kid, all right? <laughs> Oh, really? But, He's got like a David Bowie thing going on? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's called, they diagnosed him with con congenital yeah, Horner yeah. syndrome, but oh, it doesn't even look like he has Horners. So oh. I don't know. He He's fine. So that's good. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> He's Dude, chilling. a quirky eye, it can give you a lot of character. Yeah. It's I mean, only in David the darkness. Bowie, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, the, Sylvester yeah. Stallone also has uh, really? Horners from being born with the... Uh, Forceps. Oh, the forceps, yeah. Tori yeah. Spelling. So, I wish I was born he's with chilling. forceps. My arms would be so strong. And That's true, powerful. yeah. We only we only got biceps. Oh, went, no wonder Sylvester Stallone is so jacked. <laughs> Get up there. Double the power in your arm. Superman. What, if, if supermanning that hoe is when you come on a girl's <laughs> back and then stick the sheet to it, um, yeah. What, what would some other superhero sexual acts be? Like, I think the Flash is pretty obvious. The Green what, what, Lantern, yeah. when he put on the glow-in-the-dark cock ring. Mm, okay, <laughs> I like that, yeah. Guys, what about condoms? They have glow-in-the-dark condoms, too. Well, you yeah, but you gotta have the ring. Mm. The Green Lantern... The Green Lantern does not use condoms. He's a superhero. <laughs> oh, dude, he can create anything with the ring. He, he can just create, create a condom. condom. Yeah. Oh, he <laughs> can create like a fucking, uh, like a dam to block up the cervix. He or a morning create... after pill. Oh my God. He could just create a woman and have sex with her green body. Wait, can he make <laughs> edible things? Well, not till mm, October. I don't know. <laughs> he pro I don't okay, know so if I'd eat it. He probably can, but he has to like sustain it with his willpower, so... You'd probably eat it and then be It'll hungry disappear later. Disappear from yeah, your stomach. Dis oh. Disappear out of your stomach. I have a real question about the Green Lantern. Okay. What if he's dehydrated? Because he's weak to yellow things, right? Yeah. What if he's dehydrated? Is he weak to his own piss? Like if he be. if he got a little of his own oh piss on his God. hands, is it like he's weak you're... to fear? There's also <laughs> uh, the Red Lantern people, which yeah. are anger as well. Mm. So yes, they have red. It's not con. just yellow. Yeah. I was also going to does he piss <laughs> green? Huh? Does he piss green? That's another question I had. Mm. And I have one more for you. Why doesn't he just create like a green lens? And then whenever Sinestro's like, oh, yellow laser beam, he's just like green lens. And then it flies through the green lens and he's like, that's my laser now. I'm pretty sure Sinestro <laughs> is a red lantern, actually. Um, 
He has be completely a purple wrong. head, and he <laughs> looks like Richard Nixon, but he shoots yellow things for sure. Ah, okay. Because so he was wrong. in the Super Friends, uh, the 1980s version of the cartoon. Every Super Friend had one villain that came along for the yeah. ride, and Green Lanterns was Sinestro. Mm. That's how I learned, like, who the fuck Black Manta is. Mm. I was like, what's this dude? He's That's got like, a toilet villain, on his head. Right? Yeah, it's Aquaman's angry boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched Super Friends when I was a kid. That show sucked. It's so bad, <laughs> but as an adult, it's hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that poor one kid in The Wonder mm. Twins who was always a bucket of water as a oh, kid. <laughs> Zan and Jaina, dude. Yeah. Like, Jaina, what is it? One of them has to take the form of something that's water, and one of them takes the form of an animal. Yeah, in... something like that. It's been that's a while. Great, yeah. I think ninety they together or something. Or... Yeah, many times they will combine together. Right. Ninety-five percent of the time, Zan goes form of a bucket of water, yeah. and then Jaina <laughs> is like, "I'm fucking a falcon," and then a she just picks up the water <laughs> in her talons and then flies to wherever the danger is. Yeah. Like the best thing that they could come up <laughs> with is I'll be something you can carry and then, you know, you carry yeah. me. He didn't should have been an up. elephant. She could have snorted her brother. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that they- The that had the triceratops that shot a laser out of it. That seems plausible. Probably, yeah, I could see and that. And it had like a, like a blob person. Is this Power Rangers now? <laughs> no, it was like Dude, a white blob, I think. I genuinely think that Cobalt the elephant thing may have happened. Like in my head, <laughs> in my head, I think that she may have shot her brother out of her trunk once. That'd be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's we had weird. like in in college, we had like three seasons of Super Friends on DVD, and we would just watch it when we were stone sober and totally not under the influence <laughs> of anything at all. And it right. was a great time. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a show, man. It's a real yeah. show. What's the Spider-Man cartoon that all the gifts come out of? Because I want to watch that. It's like that's a 60s, 60s one, yeah. and it looks awful. Oh that's yeah, it. that's it. They a lot of times in a lot of those shots, they just didn't draw the lines on Spider-Man's chest. <laughs> <laughs> they, just, they just didn't do it. You know, <laughs> they're just like, eh, we don't got the budget for lines. Can I get Twitch to do like a full playthrough of all of the Spider-Man episodes, and then I'll just co-stream them? That would be pretty good. That's the one that's like uh, that has the classic theme, you know. I was gonna Spider say Spider Man, Spider Man. Yeah. That must yeah. have been the first time that was ever mm -hmm. invented. Sixty eight. Mm -hmm. Why yeah, could have yeah. been another year? <laughs> the uh, I I dude, I watched the Spider Man show from the nineties and loved that. Also a terrible show, from what I remember. I missed every single one of those. Like I never watched the Batman animated series, the, oh. the Spider Man one. I heard like the Justice. I did watch a little Ghostbusters. You know, Egon I heard the was Justice blonde League one was and good. had a pompadour. Justice League was good, yeah. Uh, I I don't remember that. In the what the TV show, the cartoon. In the cartoon, yeah. Egon yeah, was yeah, blonde and had a pompadour, and it fucked me up because then I thought he really had that. And when I watched the movie again, I was like, what? Yeah, me too. Okay. I was like, why is his hair this different now? Yeah, his but, hair's all fucked up. Do you guys know this one? The one that goes, uh, -na 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 -na. Ah, the X Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the original yeah. X Men. That's, yeah, that's yeah. my favorite. That's show. great. Yeah. I was just making sure when, that we were in like... the intro when Wolverine cuts the screen. He cuts the Sentinel <laughs> he up. Cuts it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my so god. Good. Chops it up. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a great show. I had a giant life size Wolverine painted on my wall as a child, and his really his spandex. Yep. The my fucking mom knuckles. drew it. Yeah. Claws yeah. In him. I was I was Wolverine for Halloween. I actually I think I have a like a twelve inch Wolverine. Uh, Dick, don't dick, say yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> what was I gonna say? <laughs> but um, yeah, that was back when Scott Summers was a responsible young man what? and not the total fuck up that he became in the movies. Dude, yeah. not not just Scott Summers, but Storm was a fucking badass yeah, in that ruled. show. Yeah, yeah. Um, unlike she was in the fucking movies where they made Halle Berry into like a damsel in distress. It's the, like a it, badass it tornado scream. Scott yeah. Summers in X Men 3, mm. even though I'm not a huge comic book fan, is probably mm. like the biggest betrayal I've ever experienced. Maybe that or the Mandarin <laughs> in Iron Man 3, but I still think, like, <laughs> at least stylistically, that tried something. But it, when Scott Summers in X Men 3 is just like, well, my contract's up, so I'm going to get. <laughs> I'm gonna deliberately get myself exploded for no reason. Then you're like, okay, fair enough. 
He was like the leader yeah. of the gang, man. He was so cool. He was you responsible. Well. He yeah. had the skin tight blue with the white stripes like a Dodge <laughs> Viper GT. Yeah. Dude was a fucking sports car. Shot fucking lasers. And now he's just like a stupid idiot. But what? he had to film a hop. So like, he wasn't <laughs> there for the whole movie. Dude, actually, <laughs> speaking of superhero actors, uh, one who really turned his shit around was fucking uh, Chris Evans. <laughs> Who's yeah, absolutely true. Captain America now, but was Johnny Storm in a fucking terrible Fantastic Four I completely movie forgot movie. about that. I he know. Got, he got swallowed Simul up for Captain Simultaneously, America. The Green best, Lantern. Simultaneously, the best fa uh, Fantastic Four movie that's ever been made. Yeah, yes, <laughs> unfortunately. Don't <laughs> yeah. 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 forget about uh, Ryan Reynolds, though, with his Green Lantern into Deadpool as well. Yeah, yeah I watched yeah, Green yeah. Lantern after the fact, because I love him from Deadpool, and he was not very good in that. Dude, oh, that movie to is be just honest, bad. It's just that, boring. No, you don't even have to look at Green Lantern to Deadpool. You'll get Deadpool to Deadpool for Ryan Reynolds <laughs> turning that shit around. Because That's true. Deadpool was in that really terrible X-Men Origins Wolverine oh, movie. Oh, right. Oh, oh, the one God. where with uh, Will I Am. Yeah, yeah, I think so. The yeah. video game was okay. Was it? Yeah, it was like oh, one of the yeah. few that was actually yeah, not terrible. Yeah, I remember that. Yes, like that was. Game. I was thinking about that the other day because that game was, was dope because you could cut up Wolverine's body and it would yeah. grow back. <laughs> he turned into like a skeleton and then his muscles would form over the bones. Yeah, that game was dope actually. I didn't play any of those uh, superhero games. I, I I was just like slightly off for whatever They're reason. Mostly like, trash. I never played that Hulk game that, that oh, people Hulk have like destruction on the GameCube. It, one yeah. of my favorite games of all time. Really? I love that. Never game. even heard of it. Oh, it's so good. <gasps> I did play <gasps> Spider Man too. So I in all those conversations, I'm like yeah. I'm with oh, you. I'm my looking balloon. forward to uh the uh, new game coming out, so maybe we can put this fucking swinging to rest. <laughs> I'm tired of talking about the swinging in Spider Man too. <laughs> I feel like Spider-Man 2 swinging is almost like it's a meme at this point. It is, yeah, absolutely. But then like again, it, ironically. it hasn't been as good in any of the other games in fairness. I will I say, though, it's real good. according to, well, at least my experience, is Spider-Man historically the best or second best superhero video Ooh. game property? Spider-Man on PS1 mm. and N64? pretty good yeah. i don't remember there was another one that was like ps1 only i think then there was the spider-man movie game which was okay aged yeah. really really badly spider-man 2 was obviously extremely well liked ultimate spider-man was actually real good to be really? about the batman yes. games in comparison that, i think so that that's, that's got to be considered yeah. number one probably but I, you even know on nintendo he had a really good like old school game or that's you, you know, one that yeah. was like a platformer. Dude, that game was so bad. What? Sunsoft was a that. trash game developer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I but can't remember games if that's the made, one I played. Well, there's were... like that one classic Batman. And yeah. then there's maybe like six or seven years where they made some truly horrible really ones. Really bad ones, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, controls were impossible. Like Everything like. moved like it was stuck underwater and sticky to all the walls. That's like I, any I Nintendo game. No, so, there's better and worse. I would even say, Mario. I would say like, even though I liked Arkham Asylum and Arkham City probably more than I've liked any other Spider-Man game that I've played, I think Spider-Man's got to take the crown for that because he's Ooh. probably had more. He's probably had more good games in his series, you know. Like the Spider-Man on the. We gotta add them up and take the aggregate though, because like yeah. I think Spider-Man might have the most releases of any super I, he definitely does yeah yeah there know. was like side scrolling beat em up on super nintendo that had carnage yeah. in it and like... maximum carnage yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Game. it was awesome oh, separation up, yeah. anxiety yeah i don't that, it had a red cartridge on the snes oh really yeah. they really made named an snes game separation anxiety it was like <laughs> carnage separation anxiety or something wow that's wild it's yeah. like a like a post hardcore album or something hmm. Yeah. Please but again, me. I really love Arkham City. I think it's like one of the best games. It's, I think, probably the best superhero game ever made, in my opinion. The X Men games aren't that great, that's for sure. Yeah. They yeah, don't Destiny. Make many of them. Destiny kind of, kind of blew, right? <laughs>
Uh, See, this is how I know. Nobody played it at all. It no, came out like two I years ago. It. Yeah, no, no, I did not play it. I at just all. am not going to defend it. The only good X Men yeah. game I can think of that actually rings true to me still to this day is the arcade cabinet. Yeah, the beat 'em up yeah. is pretty good. Okay. And that wasn't good, but I liked it anyway. Well, they had a. Uh... So they had Marvel Ultimate Alliance, right? They made two of those yeah. games. But I think before that, didn't they make an X-Men version before they got the entire Marvel license? I I I, mm, I remember it, but I, I could no. be it could be in a fucking fever dream. Wasn't oh, that a thing? Somebody in my chat said X-Men Legends, so okay, I'm gonna X -Men say maybe Legends. That's a real thing then. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, I remember playing that and liking it, but I remember Marvel Ultimate Alliance being awesome. So I, I don't know, maybe maybe that one is the best X-Men game. It was just kind of like a beat em up with some mild arcade or uh, RPG mechanics. There wasn't much to it. I mean you could well, at least play as your favorite heroes, which was fun. It was kind of more like a, uh, it was a beat em up with like light strategy and light RPG, basically. Hey, you know what game is really bad, at least if you're an adult? What's that? Lego, Marvel, whatever the hell Kate and I played six <laughs> months ago on a Saturday. Oh, the Marvel Actually, Super Heroes? Yeah. yeah. I played some of the other Lego games, like Lego Star Wars, I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago. I was like, that's Harry pretty Potter good. is really fun. I like that one. Yeah. Lego Marvel. Can you play as T'Challa? Uh, you can play as T'Challa, yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. They usually I mean, have rosters like 120 yeah, characters. Yeah, you can play as anybody. The yeah. spriting mm -hmm. is just like six pixels on a freaking disc. <laughs> I did indeed, yeah. The face. When, I, when I saw T'Challa, I went, that's T'Challa. The single <laughs> tier. <laughs> that's the dad. Rainbow Six guy. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, what's, what's his dad's name? He's got a T'Cha something. It is like, the, it's T'Chaka, I think. <laughs> but, okay, there you go. Yeah. But they say they say it like T'Chanka in the movie. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, the one thing that I'll give uh, Lego, like, major credit for is that, uh, you know, all the characters do have individual abilities, right? Which is pretty well, cool. In what? In, well, in, like, all those Lego games. Like, oh, in, yeah, uh, you, you Star press Wars the B and... button, and then your dude does whatever his special ability does, is. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like... but for, there's, like, four archetypes. There's, like, he either throws something, or he gets big, or, like, she goes fast, or she gets small. Those mm -hmm. are the four archetypes, is, like... Except Doctor Strange, he can turn back time. Oh, that's pretty cool. I got real pissed, though, because on <laughs> one of the puzzles, there's a magical apple that gives the villain power. And so right. they go, hey, Doctor Strange, use your time powers to make it so, like, the mm. apple is, mm. uh, you know, no longer given power. And I went up to the apple, and I tried to go back in time so that the apple became, like, a seed and then phased out of existence. And the game was just like, <laughs> please, Doctor Strange, help us. And I was like, I can't solve the fucking puzzle. And eventually I figured out you have to go forward in time so that the apple rots into nothing. And I was right. like, you know oh. what? I understand, but really both ways seem <laughs> equally valid to me. Couldn't he just do that to the enemies and rot them into nothing instead? No, because they don't have a green hue on them. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that works. Because if so, so somebody took the apple and used it for bad, right? That was the Yeah, assertion? correct. If you went forward in time, wouldn't they just take the apple and use it for bad and it would leave? Poop it out. It's a good point, actually. If yeah. you went backward in time, it would do what you said, but forward doesn't work in that situation. That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that does that does not make a lot of sense, actually. So your solution was actually the real solution. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. But here's the thing. If you go back in time and then undo the seed, well, guess what? Now you've just... Uh, created the possibility that that seed will be created again. So you've mm. made thousands of Hitler apples. A sound of thunder, yeah. Yeah. That's terrifying. Mm -hmm. That's why he we made... should go forward in time and piss on Hitler's corpse instead of back in time and kill him <laughs> as a baby. You know. Hitler never died. <laughs> I mean, he's probably, like, even if he lived, well, he's, he's dead, dead now. now. Yeah, he's definitely yeah. dead. Yeah, now. But he fled to Spain. Wait, why do you think he's... He's not necessarily dead. They had all kinds of great experiments mm. figuring out shit. That's true. He did get. He did try to get the Ark of the Covenant once. Yeah. And, and the he Holy drank Grail. from the the Holy Grail, and, and yeah. he's alive and well inside of the flat Earth. Dude, the I did watch Channel one of those did a show shows. on him. That's I. I probably watched the same thing when it oh, came to Netflix, and the he dude would live was in like, a "Nazi megastructure." That's my bad. Well, yeah. <laughs> the guy was like, <laughs> "Hitler is definitely. He might be dead, but he didn't die at uh, the Fuhrer bunker." 
because like the Russians took the skull and then later, like 70 years later, they did a DNA test on the skull and they're like, this is a horse's skull. This is a woman's <laughs> skull. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a horse. Who would get fooled by it that? It wasn't a horse's skull, okay? I'm just saying. They said it was a woman's skull. Is what I yeah. Uh, okay. A woman horse? And then they were like, the exhibit is now closed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the fake news deep state uh, media that's doing it. Trying to keep Hitler uh, from the world. Everyone wants to see him play again, you know? <laughs> Why don't they just tell? <laughs> pick a, pick I don't get it. It's like, it's like Elvis. It was also, oh, like, that's it. Okay. Alive, yeah. For some reason, mm. I thought you were talking about baseball. Biggie mm. and Tupac are yeah, alive wherever he is. Yeah, yeah, Tupac's alive. Still right Those are like the weirdest conspiracy theories to me. It was, it was like 2004, I had an acquaintance who really thought Tupac was still alive. And it was like, <laughs> he's, he's gonna come back in like, you know, November of this Drop year. Drop a dozen albums at the same yeah. time. Yeah. And you're like, why would Tupac, if he faked his own death, Thank you, for one, Inski, for the Twitch Prime One good sub. reason Sorry, is guys, it's why. Sorry, guys. harder to talk with yeah. chat. You know. During the MLSS. But, uh, that's why. I'm well, reading everything. Well, like, the Tupac <laughs> conspiracy is actually a fun one because, uh, what? I, now, I, I don't actually know if this is true. I've just heard from, you know, conspiracy theorists talking about it. But what, isn't part of the conspiracy theory that his mom was, like, on an FBI watch list for being part of, like, the Black Panthers or so something? So I have never heard about that, but maybe. Yeah, yeah, that, that's at least part of the conspiracy theory. So that's that's part of that that thing, so. But I've just like that the idea fun. that if you're going to fake your own death, you wouldn't be like, oh, Tupac drowned. And here's like a picture of his corpse. Not Instead, <laughs> you're like, we're going to stage a violent shooting mm -hmm. like in the middle of downtown mm -hmm. Los Angeles. Like that's yeah. the way you would. That, it's like trying to stage the moon landing, like literally on Hollywood Boulevard. It just seems to add a few extra complications into the conspiracy. I'm sure you saw what happened to Sherlock. Mm. You know, there's no way they could have faked that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Good point. Have you heard about the theory? <laughs> Maybe it was Vegas, my bad. Okay. Have you heard about the theory that JFK actually shot himself? <laughs> please. <laughs> Come on. That's... Please. Oh, I need God. to know. I need to know. I believe you. I just need to know. He oh, shot there. himself as Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, it's... Ted Cruz is a fake Ted Cruz. <laughs> it's from Red Dwarf. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. JFK is the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. Dude, you know what, though? It would be, like, I mean, it would be obviously fucked up in many ways, but it would be really hilarious if Ted Cruz actually was the Zodiac <laughs> Killer. <laughs> I don't know if that would be it. hilarious. No, it, it would be hilarious. hilarious. Would. That would be so funny. There is no be... way. That guy doesn't have... The amount of testosterone yeah, well. pumping through his body. <laughs> That's to what be they able thought about to, Dexter. <laughs> to kill somebody. Oh, man. Did you see the photo? Of him is a solid. mime? It's a good game. <laughs> yes. He was doing a play, right, in, in his 